Hi everyone, this is Ramakrishna. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss episode 2019 calculus of variations question number 53 and 54 from PAPA 2. And the questions are uh, the extremals of the functional integral 0 to 2 y dash square by x dx with initial conditions y of 0 is equal to 0 and y of 2 is equal to 1 is dash. And the four options are option number 1 y is equal to 4x, option number 2 x square is equal to 4y, option number 3 y is equal to x square minus 1, option number 3 4 y square is equal to 4x and here the question is regarding extremals of the functional so first we have to discuss the concept of uh, extremals of given functional so here we have uh, some concept about uh, extremals of a given functional so first we recall that uh, concept so here we have one of the main problems of uh, calculus of variations is to determine the uh, curve connecting two given points which uh, either maximize or uh, minimize some given integral. Okay, consider the curve y is equal to y of x where y of x1 is equal to y1 and uh, y of x2 is equal to y2 such that for some given known function capital F of x comma y comma y dash of variables x y y dash. The integral i of y of x is equals to integral taken to x1 to x2 capital F of x comma y comma y dash dx is either maximum or minimum and is called an extremum or stationary values. A curve y is equal to y of x which satisfies this property is called an extremum. That means here the problem in calculus of variations is to determine the curve connecting given two points that is uh, x1 and x2 are the two points so which either maximize or uh, minimize some given integral so here this is the integral taken over x1 to x2 so we have to find the maximize or uh, minimize of this uh, integral value so for that we have to consider a curve y is equal to y of x where y of x1 is equal to y1 and y of x2 is equal to y2 and such that for given known function that is uh, f of x comma y comma y dash that means here f is a function in three variables that is uh, x y and uh, y dash and given integration is of the form i of y of x is equal to integral x1 to x2 capital f of x comma y comma y dash into dx so this integration value is either maximum or minimum also called an extremum or stationary values a curve y is equal to y of x which satisfies this property is called an extremal okay so this is uh, about calculus of variation problem and we have two node points first one is uh, problems which investigate extrema of a functional are known as variational problems so this type of problems are called uh, variational problems so here we are investigating extremum of uh, functional value okay and second one calculus of variation deals with the variational problems of uh, functionals and in this section we have an important equation that is uh, Euler's Lagrange's equation so here the statement is uh, a necessary condition for i of y of x is equal to x1 integral x1 to x2 capital F of x comma y of x comma y dash of x dx to be extremum is that dou f by dou y minus d by dx of dou f by dou y dash is equals to 0 which is called Euler Lagrange's uh, equation that means whenever the given functional is to be extremum that should satisfy this Euler Lagrange's equation that is dou f by dou y minus t by dx of dou f by dou y dash is equals to 0 and this particular equation is called Euler Lagrange's uh, equation okay and here we have other forms of Euler's equation that is dou f by dou x minus t by dx of f minus y dash into dou f by dou y dash is equals to 0 is another form of Euler's equation and particular we have uh, four different cases so first we will see the case one when f is independent of x that is in the given function whenever x is absent that means x variable absent then we have uh, Euler's equation as 
f minus do sorry f minus y dash into do f by do y dash is equals to c a constant yes c is a constant this is case one whenever f is independent of x then we have f minus y dash into do f by do y dash is equals to c and case two when f is independent of y that means in the given functions whenever y term is absent then we have do f by do y dash is equals to c a constant okay and case 3 when f is independent of y dash then we have do f by do y is equals to a 0 and coming to case 4 when f is independent of both the variables x and y then we have y double dash into do square f by do y dash square is equals to 0 if do square f by do y dash square is not equals to 0 it reduces to y double dash is equals to 0 which gives a solution of the form y is equal to c1 x plus c2 where c1 and c2 are constants so these uh, cases will be used in solving the problems okay now coming to the solution of the given problem here given that f of x comma y comma y dash is equals to y dash square by x now here we have do f by do y means partial derivative of uh, given function capital f with respect to y is equals to 0 and uh, do f by do y dash is equals to 2 y dash by x and observe that here in the given function y is absent so here y is absent so we can use the case 2 whenever y term is uh, absent we have do f by do y dash is equals to c a constant so we have do f by do y dash is equals to c a constant but we have do f by do y dash is nothing but 2 y dash by x which is equals to c constant c so in simplification we have y dash is equals to c x here c is a constant so we can write y dash is equals to c x so here y dash represents uh, dy by dx so this can be written as dy is equal to cx into dx integrating on both sides we get uh, y is equal to c into integration of x with respect to x is x square by 2 plus uh, some constant say c dash okay so that implies y is equal to k1 into x square plus uh, some constant k2 and given initial conditions are y of 0 is equal to 0 that means uh, c equals to 0 we have y values also equal to 0 so that means here replacing x is equal to 0 we get uh, k2 as equal to 0 and uh, another condition y of 2 is equal to 1 that means whenever x is equal to 1 putting x is equal to 2 we get uh, the value as uh, left hand side value y of 2 is equal to 1 means uh, here 1 is equal to here oh, we are substituting x is equal to 2 means 2 square value is equal to 4 4 into x1 so we get uh, 1 is equal to 4 into x1 already k2 value is equal to 0 so from this we get uh, k1 is equal to 1 by 4 so now substituting this initial conditions values in y is equal to k1 x square plus k2 we get y is equal to 1 by 4 x square that is uh, x square is equal to 4 y so that means uh, option number 2 is uh, correct so here we have x square is equal to 4y so option number 2 will be the correct answer is it clear okay now we will discuss the next question that is uh, problem number 54 and the question is the Euler's equation for the extremal of the functional integral x1 to x2 y1 sorry y dash square minus y square into dx is dash and four options are y double dash plus y is equal to 0 option number 2 y double dash plus y dash is equal to 0 option number 3 y dash plus y is equal to 0 and option number 4 y double dash is equal to 1 plus uh, y dash plus y okay and here the function is f of x comma y comma y dash is equal to y dash square minus y square so from this we have dou f by dou y is equal to minus 2y and dou f by dou y dash is equal to 2y dash and since uh, from Euler's equation we have uh, dou f by dou y minus d by dx of dou f by dou y dash is equals to 0. Now substituting these values we get minus 2y minus 2y double dash is equals to 0 that is y dash plus y double dash is equals to 0 
that means here we got option number one is the correct answer so we can solve this in another different method here observe that in the given function x term is absent so we can use d by d by dx of f minus y dash into dou f by dou y dash is equals to zero that is d by dx of given f is nothing but y dash square minus y square minus y dash into dou f by dou y dash is nothing but uh, partial derivative of f with respect to y dash that is 2 y dash which is equals to 0 so that is d by dx is equal to minus y dash square minus y square is equal to 0 okay so on simplification we get this value is equal to minus 2 y dash y double dash minus 2 y y dash is equals to 0 taking minus 2 y dash as common we have uh, y double dash plus y is equal to 0 and since here y dash is not equal to 0 so we have y double dash plus y is equal to 0 that is option number 1 is uh, the correct option okay is it clear i hope you like this video if you like the video please share subscribe thanks for watching